Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time that I upload a new video. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna be applying and doing, we're gonna be uh, reviewing the new 18A Blue Ya Away palette by Morphe. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. It has this really large mirror, which I like because this is perfect for when you travel somewhere. It's like the traveling size and you can like put it in a bag and just take it with you. Okay, so the first color that I'm gonna be applying, it's called Headliner, and it's like a gray. This is a color right here. Okay, to apply this color, I'm gonna be using a fluffy brush. Let's see how this applies onto our lid. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use this mirror so that, you know, you guys can see that it actually works. I barely tapped onto the palette, and there's already a little bit of fallout on there. You guys can take a look. So, I don't know about you guys, that doesn't really bother me, but I know it bothers some people. So let's go ahead and apply this on our lid. Okay, so I'm not really having any trouble blending this shade out. I've never used a gray shade. So that's, that's kind of a good thing. It's blending out really good. And you don't need to grab a lot of product because I just barely, you guys saw, I just barely tapped on it and... A lot of powder came out <laughs> so there's a little bit of fallout right here let me show you guys up close so you guys can see what that looks like so you guys can see there's like a little bit of fallout on there so I'm just gonna clear that out with a big fan brush okay so the texture of it is like very smooth it blends so good so I like this shade I approve of it let me just go ahead and do the other eye real quick Okay, so the next shade I'm going to be applying is... That's a good question. <laughs> so the next shade that I'm going to be applying is the shade called So Dazzling. And it's like a... Let me show you guys. It's this like dark color right here. I'm going to be applying that on my crease. Alright, so there's fallout on the pan. Just like the other shade, but that's okay. Okay, so this shade actually applied very smoothly. There's actually like a lot of fallout right here. So after I apply that, I'm going to be using a clean brush so that I can blend it out. It is really easy to blend, so that's good. A lot of blue clears are very hard to blend, so I'm kind of like proud of this palette. And it's like really cheap too. See how it's like blending out really good? Mm, I like this. It's coming out really nice. I'm impressed. I've never seen like dark shades be this good like usually they're like really patchy and there are some spots where it's darker than others and this one's just smooth that's pretty hmm. that's pretty I'm glad I'm using cool tones because usually for the holidays people always use red or green or like gold or brown and I was like huh let's try some actual cool tones and see what we can do with those it's coming out pretty good. Hmm, you like it. So the next thing I'm going to add onto my eyes is the Believe Beauty Concealer. And I'm just going to cut the crease. Okay, so now that I have applied the concealer, I'm going to be going in with the shade. I'm not sure if it's like Standing O or Standing Zero, but it's uh, this shade right here. It's like a purpley sparkly color let's see how it looks i'm not gonna spray this with anything to see if it if it applies good like without any setting spray or anything just with the concealer okay so i really have to dig into the little pan so that it can come out because the brush wasn't really grabbing a lot of product you have to really dig in there it's okay though Glitter colors are harder to apply, oh, but this is really pretty. It's like a purple gray. It's really nice. You go Morphe. This actually came out good. Okay, so the concealer, it intensifies. If you didn't know, like it intensifies the eyeshadow. So when you apply the concealer and then you put the eyeshadow over it, it makes it a lot brighter. It looks a lot nicer most of the time but if the product is good it applies perfectly without any of that intensifies it just means that like it really brings out like the shade how it's supposed to look it's not the same when your finger grabs a product than when the brush does it's a better effect if you like wet the brush or if you use concealer okay now that we applied this on our lid 
we are gonna go in with a tiny flat brush show you guys this tiny brush and we're going in with the shade so dazzling again this one and we're going to be applying this on the outer corner just so that it blends in with the glitter shade see how the transition is coming out really nice i'm just going to go in with the clean brush and i'm going to blend it out right here so that it doesn't look weird so what i'm gonna do next right now i'm gonna apply another sparkly color it's like a blackish sparklyish color it has like blue undertones in it of course and with another flat brush i'm gonna be applying this right here i'm adding this color so that it transitions better emily emily you're so amazing <laughs> okay i actually like this so much i think it's so all right, so since I want to show you guys how this palette like works and as many colors as I possibly can, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with it's called Indie Glow. It's this like really really light blue. It's almost white even. So we're gonna go in with that shade. I'm gonna apply this on our lower lash line. So applying shades on your lower lash line helps intensify your eye a lot more. I know that there's a lot of girls that don't like to apply anything down here, but eyeliner and mascara, but I'm not that girl. I actually like to like get in there. It's kind of hard. It's hard not to poke your eye. I feel bad for the people that are like sensitive to powder when it gets in their eye because that can be a little hard when you do this. Alright, so after that light shade is placed on there, I'm gonna go in with Sky's the Limit. I need this matte blue shade right here. I'm gonna grab a pencil brush. I'm gonna apply this right on top of this baby blue shade carefully gonna like apply this tightly onto like the lash line oh and i like how this is applying there's not really like a lot of fallout with this shade and it's blue you know that a lot of like i mentioned blue tones make a mess so this is good okay so next i'm gonna be going back in with the shade so dazzling this one i'm gonna go over that blue Usually when you do um, colors on your lower lash line, normally um, people like to match the color to the color that you used on the crease. But sometimes it's okay to break the rules and go in with a different shade and create a different color. And I'm going to go back in with the so-called clean brush. It doesn't have like powder on it. And I'm just going to blend that out. Makeup has no rules, honey. So if you want to look like a raccoon, go ahead and look like a fucking raccoon. It's okay. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is applying a shade on our inner corner so that our eye stands out a lot more. So we're going to use a shimmery shade and we're going to use a shade autograph and it's like a silver shade. It's this one down here and I'm applying this without spraying my brush or anything. This is optional, like you don't have to apply anything on your inner corner, but I like it because it makes your eyes pop out a lot more and it looks really good. This gives it like a better effect to like the whole makeup look. It looks so much better. I really like this shade, you guys. I just wanted to mix all these colors together so that you guys can see how good these are. It's like a first impressions. Like I want you guys to see how I like it and how I don't. And if it's worth buying or not. But I think this palette is worth it. And it's so cheap. Okay, so now that I'm done with that. I'm going to go in with my Better Than Sex Mascara. And... we almost dropped it. I'm going to apply this on my lashes. And I'm only applying... You know, I'm just going to use this mirror because it's a lot easier. I'm only going to apply a little bit. So that my false lashes blend in. So usually um, people use eyeliner, but since it's, this is very dramatic and I kind of want like the colors to pop and stand out, I'm not going to do my eyeliner. Just mascara and then the fake lashes. Eyeliner is optional. And we can never forget to do our lower lashes no matter how short they are. Be careful not to poke your eye. I've done it a thousand times, but I've survived. It's important to add mascara to our lower lashes because it helps the makeup look stand out more like it helps your eyes stand out more okay so for eyelashes it's always important i think it's important when i choose what kind of eyelashes to wear usually depending on the look that i make 
like if I'm doing something like this where my eye looks around, I use eyelashes that are like straight around. Like let me show you guys. For example, these are called Intoxicating by Mint Luxury Lashes. And they're like round all the way. So for round looks like this, I like to use lashes like these. And for looks that are um, more like a cat eye with eyeliner and they're more like cornered up this way. I like to use these eyelashes that are longer from like the outer corners so that it gives me that dramatic cat eye look. So for this look that we have, I'm going to be using some eyelashes that are round all the way around. And these are intoxicating by Minked Luxury Lashes. I'm gonna let these dry a little bit. I like to apply my lashes when like the glue starts to dry up a little bit so that it just like attaches easily and it stays. Like you don't have to wait for them to dry. See the eyelash glue starts to get like dark blue. And that's when it's like ready to just stick on there. See it looks nice. I really like how this applied. I think it looks really good. Alright, so it's a little dramatic, but let me zoom in so you guys can see what it looks like up close. But this is how it looks up close. And then for my lower lash line, I'm going to apply a little bit of eyeliner just to make this look a lot more dramatic. So I'm going to use a spongy to pull down my skin. And I'm using the Italia Deluxe eyeliner. It's very cheap. This is optional, like you don't have to use any eyeliner if you don't want to, but I like to because it looks more dramatic. Since this is cool tones and they're very dark, I want it to look dramatic and más exagerado. Okay, so this is how this look turned out. What do you guys think? I think it came out really, really good. Obviously, I have to have my hair done for this, but I think it's perfect. I like it. Okay, so my opinion on this palette is that it's very nice and it's very affordable. And the colors blend out so good, so I liked it. I loved it. I would honestly say that this is Emily approved, and I honestly think this is a palette that you guys should purchase because it's really nice and it's worth it. So yeah, that's what I think about the palette. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. That is the end of this video, and if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about these shades.